think you're going to do something different. You can't really say that, Spencer. I'll be lying to you if I was like, mate, I'm going to do this. I'm going to come out of Southport. It's all b- I'm going there and do what the f I do. I'm going to get this win. That's what I'm. That's what I'm focusing on. Yeah. That sounds like the Joshua of old, the rawness. You know what I'm saying? Like, let yeah, me I go exactly and do saying. my job, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. I'm not going to make it overcomplicated. I'm a good fighter. A f- good jab, good defense, good right hand, good uppercut, and I'll find. I'll find the gaps needed to to break my opponent down. And those are the words of Anthony Joshua as he informs everyone that there will be nothing new. He will. He believes in his combinations. He believes in his training, of course, his coach and the new tutelage of Derek James. And he said there will be nothing new. You know, I will go down and I will find the ways, the holes to win. Now, this could be a very good thing or a very bad thing, okay? Because, see, the good thing is he's confident in his ability. I think Anthony Joshua's mentality, his mental state has to be right, you know? And I think it it is because, you know, a lot of times people expect so much. And I think this could be a bad thing if people, if if Anthony Joshua was a type of person that believed everything that he heard. But unfortunately, he does because, you know, listening to spectators, Anthony Joshua felt like he had to make an, a, a statement. On all of his losses, he was he was pressured into believing that he had to do something he really didn't try or need to really do. He tried, but he didn't need to do that. And I think of Jermaine Franklin, he's just, I think he's learning the raw, just rugged work output to make it happen. Now, we can only see what Derek James has showed Anthony. So we have to see it because nothing has been discussed. And that's exactly how it should be. Nobody should discuss what you're working on, what your game plan is. You shouldn't have any um, footage about Anthony Joshua, you know, other than running, but like him in the gym, uh, going to the body and all that stuff. That looks cool, but it's not very smart. You know, I think that AJ will beat Jermaine Franklin, I think. He will beat Jermaine Franklin, okay? And uh, I will explain why in the breakdown of the prediction. But mind you that Anthony Joshua, I think, should stop worrying about what people think. You know, stop trying to uh, appease everyone, okay? And what he was saying, hey, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to go in and make the win. You know, this could be a... Hype job went bad or make or break, people will tune in. Believe me, people will tune in to watch this fight. However, I don't think it's where it used to be. But the people that don't support Anthony Joshua anymore because of his second rematch loss, that's a whole different thing. And if he loses to Jermaine Franklin, oh, they're going to get hard, wet, or erect <laughs> when that happens. And um, that's what it is. Okay, but they don't like him anyway. So what's the point? Right. But um, I like the mentality of Anthony Joshua. I like the fact, hey, I'm gonna go in there, find the holes to win. You know, so when you talk that way, you don't leave an expectation up to discussion. Okay, so Joshua, I think, is looking for holes and looking for the defense, you know, and he's like, hey, I just need to win. But uh, again, you guys tell me what you think of Anthony Joshua's uh, comment to talk sports. Shout out to them. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.